Thank you, uh, Ranking Member Kretz, and I'd now like to rep recognize Congressman Fleischman. Mr. Chairman, Ranking Member, thank you uh, very much. Uh, gentlemen, this is outstanding. I have really enjoyed this uh, testimony so far. It's very helpful. My name is Chuck Fleischman. I represent the Third District of Tennessee. Uh, in addition to serving with the Chairman on this committee, I serve on the Committee of Natural Resources, Energy and Minerals Subcommittee. Uh, with my distinguished colleague, Mr. Landry. I'm also on the Small Business Committee. So this has really brought my three disciplines together, and I've enjoyed this very much, and I, and I thank you. Um, Dr. Weiner, uh, appreciate your, your comments uh, uh, on this, and, and I've listened very, very intently. One of my goals and one of my passions is to encourage the development of our natural resources in this country coal, oil, natural gas. I think we have got the domestic resources, particularly the oil, to go out and harvest and develop it. When we were talking, and I appreciated your discussion about value destruction and the like, but we were talking about taxes. Uh, I am generally adverse to taxes, okay, uh, overwhelmingly. But with the Obama administration's proposed taxes on the oil industry, I think that would be viewed more as a deterrent. You mentioned the term about protective predictability. What would be the best thing, in your view, to get the industry to be more attractive as an investment to go out and to develop our, our, our oil resources? Uh, Congressman, I think you make some very good points. I think the single most important thing is access and stability about access. Right now, people have invested hundreds of millions in heavy equipment in the Gulf of Mexico or watching their equipment stay idle. Of course, that is costing them a lot of money. People are uncertain about the ability to lease things, um, uncertain, both on land and offshore, um, uncertainty about environmental treatments. And so one of the questions about shale gas, which extends to your, to your state as well, um, is about the ability to exploit shale gas given environmental uncertainties. Resolution of uncertainty is very important. Just like uh, the trucking industry, the oil industry can live with taxes as long as the oil industry knows what the taxes are. And when you get a lot of uncertainty and flipping back and forth in policy, people in the industry don't know what to do. That is where the value destruction comes. If you can't exploit the asset, as you mentioned, the natural resources, if it is just lying idle, it is not contributing any value to society. Okay, thank you. Um, Dr. Weiner, I wanted to ask you something about the permitting process. It seems to have been impeded greatly uh, uh, by this administration. Have you delved into that, ways that perhaps that it could be alleviated so that we could get more permits, so that we could actually uh, go about recovering our resources. As you say, these people have got the, the rigs and the machines ready to go, but they can't get the permits at, at a rapid enough pace. It has been impeded greatly until lately. They have just recently eased up. Do you have any thoughts about that, sir? Very, very important question, Congressman. The big change has been the change in regulations associated with the Deepwater Horizon accident from exactly a year ago. The, the procedures have changed, and therefore the review process changed, and the, the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management that, that does this permitting doesn't have much of a staff. And so unless you guys feel, see, it, see it appropriate to give them the resources that they need, it will be hard for them to get more permits. They have a very small number of staff members for a lot of ocean out there. And so one of the things you've got to do is to give them the resources. And the industry, the industry, like the trucking industry, has a good return on capital and would much, much prefer having a stable process where they know they can get their permit process as opposed to just sitting on someone's desk. Um, that is much more important than just having lower taxes. Thank you, uh, Dr. Weiner. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. I yield back, Mr. Chairman.